Hello. Oh, pretty peach, you're the first one. Hi, pretty peach. Yeah, I'm sorry that um I missed the uh, live on Monday. I was um I was in Los Angeles on Monday. And um uh yeah, so I had to delay the schedule a little bit. And we are here on Wednesday. Hi, Coral Reef. Thanks for joining. And Dumpling says hi. Peanut says hi. And Tofu doesn't want to say hi. She's just sleeping. <laughs> hi, Leilani. Hi, Wolf Time. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, little piggy loves. A piggy in a pod. Hi. Shokobana Nankex. <laughs> Hi Naomi. Naomi. Hello. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I wonder, um, during the last live, I made um, uh, Tai Chan and Truffle uh, admin. I'm sure. I, I, I wonder if I, I, I have to do that again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Truffle. Hi Truffle. Oh, you're still the moderator. So I guess I don't have to set it every single time. Awesome. That's great. Is it just me or does Peanut look slightly different? Like her neck hair seems very, very lion-like. It's like she has the, she has like, she's, she seems angry. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's probably just wet. Yeah, that's probably what it is. You're right. Oh, uh, the castle. Um, yeah, so this uh, wooden castle. Um, so I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. And let me show you guys something. So this castle comes out like disassembled, right? And um, actually, I, I'm going to do it here because Peanut is not the most, um, what do you call it, trustworthy. Wait, what the hell? Why is this so sturdy? Okay, so. So because Las Vegas is super dry, what happened was, uh, you know how it fits like this? And... This, this part like somehow shrunk because it got too dry. So it became a little bit loose. So what we've been trying to do is um, get some like uh, safe glues so that when you guys put it together, you guys will get a peg like this. And then you'll put a glue in here, stick it in and then put a glue here and then stick this on, stick this on. So that's why it took a couple days like probably more than a week actually to secure that glue and make sure that everything is good but um i think that's pretty much ready now and uh we are going to release it on the week of week of thanksgiving i think so this will be ready um <clears throat> because it's our first run we don't have uh we didn't actually create too much of it um, if it, if a lot of people like it and then if it sells well, then we'll, um, try to make more on the second round. So that's our plan. Oh, so this, this is, uh, this is Timothy Hay and this is Orchard. So we're kind of testing the Orchard right now. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was explaining the thing about this. I missed all the comments. Oh, is Peanut still sneezing? Yeah, she's still sneezing a little. Um, I think it got a little bit better, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's in, it's just in my mind. So I went to another vet and then um, I got the... So 
she gave me the same antibiotic except last time it was the other vet gave me two and then um, peanut was having some side effect going on so she just gave me one of it and I was asking if I if they can give us probiotic if that works and then they uh, gave it to me that as well so I think doing antibiotic with probiotic together is helping peanut a lot and she hasn't been you know being lazy she's drinking a lot she's eating a lot she's active seems good I mean, is it really? I mean, I, I don't think it's disgusting. And maybe it's just me. But in the end, like washing machine is supposed to get dirty stuff clean. So, um, yeah, it, it, it comes out clean. And whenever if I put my clothes after I wash the liner, the clothes come out clean too. So, oh, someone asked about the stuff. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, so guinea pigs, you guys really got to be careful about their disease because if you leave it alone, it'll, it's going to get bad really quickly. Uh, intro, so um, I'm not sure how many of you guys joined new, but let me give you a brief intro. So this is Dumpling. Uh, she's the oldest, but she was latest to join. She was rescued from... Uh, Crito Coral, it's a rescue center in Illinois and Indiana area. Uh, she was one year old when I first got her and now she's five. And this is Tofu, she's the youngest but at the same time she's the biggest and heaviest. Um, maybe she disagrees but uh, she's like, she's kind of, sa uh, not sassy, what do you call it? Like she's too cool for the other two. She doesn't care what the other two does and she kind of does her own thing. She's too she's too cool for the other two, essentially. So that's tofu. That's dumpling. And this right here is she is the infamous peanut. She's the smallest and the first guinea pig that I ha I got. She has like the little bit of black spot on the back, but mostly brown and a little bit of white. So a lot of people confuse between her and Dumpling. Dumpling's body is mostly white. And also she has the pink nose. And then she has the brown nose. See? I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference. But that's... She has like slightly brown nose. And if you look at Dumpling's nose. It's, it's hard to see. But it's pink. So that's Peanut. Tofu. And Dumpling. Oh yeah, Dumpling has the cute eyes. She always looks a little bit like surprised or scared. So um, yeah, it's okay to hand wash it. You just have to, I, I would assume that um, it's more difficult to hand wash larger sizes, but especially for the smaller sizes, it's okay to hand wash. And for the bigger one, um, I would, if I had a bigger one, if I had, if I didn't have the laundry machine, I would use my foot and my weight and kind of step on it instead of like going like that. I like step on it. Oh, sorry, tofu. Uh, so. People are gonna say different things, but let me think. Let me talk, tell you guys about why I use bottle. So bottles tend to be more sanitary than bowl because um, for peanut, she runs around a lot. So whenever there is a poop on the ground and she kicks it and then it falls into the poop. Like whenever I put a water bowl, like poop falls onto it like within like first couple minutes. So that's why I use water bottle instead. But water bottle too, you guys have to really be careful because if you look at it, like this part, it's easy to keep clean, right? Because you, it's transparent and it's visible. But what, what all the like dirty stuff stays is basically this part. So when you wash it, you have to like kind of clean this part a lot. So shake it and then like use the soap and then 
clean the inside. And the best way to do it, which I do at home, is use the Q-tip and then like stick it in and then like clean the nozzle. Oh yeah, straw, straw cleaner would work perfect too. I just used the Q-tip because I, I once got the straw cleaner and then it kind of didn't fit in there well. But I, I think I just got the bad one. <laughs> On my way to clean my water, guinea pig water bottle. That's great. Oh, um, will we have the Black Friday sale? Yeah, uh, we, we will have Black Friday sale. Um, we're going to um, have a, have the same, pretty much the same discount and program as last year. But in, last year, we just did it on Thanksgiving and Black Friday. But since so many people are asking, we're going to start um, on Monday of the week of Thanksgiving. Wait, is that, is that next Monday? I think it's next Monday. Yeah, I'm alive, if that's what you meant. <laughs> oh, do they like it? So, you essentially have to test it out. So, I'm going to tell you, so Raspberry, let me show you. So, as soon as I take it out, everyone's excited. But that's essentially because they respond to every back smell. Ooh, sorry, peanut. I hit you. Not on purpose. So uh, every guinea pig will need some time to um, kind of adjust to new food. So if they don't like it, they will like it um, after they try it for a little. See? So raspberry, they, they all like it. Peanut, tofu, and dumpling. <laughs> she has her foot on both her foot. So the thing about the raspberry is be, don't be surprised if you see like these like white spots. At first, I was surprised because I thought they were mold or something, but I guess uh, the raspberry leaf, they are like green on one side and like kind of whitish um, color on the other side. That's just how it is. And um, oh, just so you know, so in case um, I've, I've heard of some customers do this, and I thought that was a great idea is, you know, like uh, we have chamomile, raspberry, marigold, and dandelion. The thing is, we, we are, uh, everything that we have is organic and it's, um, we, uh, we sell it as the small animal supplement, but um, these are actually human grade stuff. So um, you can actually, um, actually brew this to make a chamomile tea too. Maybe you can give some to your guinea pig and then you can make some for your own, like make it into a tea. That would be cool. I think it works. All right, anyways. So that's that. Oh, pea flake though. I mean, you can eat it. That's also made for human consumption too. So um, you will be able to eat it, but it's not like, you, can, you can't make a tea out of it. Pea flake is just pea flake. How long have I had my guinea pig? So, uh, so peanut and tofu, I've had them about four and a half years and dumpling about uh, four years. Yep, four years. So I had them since June, um, four years ago, four and a half years ago, and then dumpling uh, from December. So a little less than four years, actually. Oh yeah, you can make a maze for your guinea pig, Alex. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, um, 
Does anyone have the same problem as Pretty Peach? Is anyone's um, YouTube slowing down or something? No? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's good. Yeah, I guess, um, yeah, maybe try to restart it. Maybe the, oh, I see. <laughs> I see tofu in the back over there. <laughs> okay, okay, pretty peach. <laughs> so, um, I, I told everyone, but when I first got my guinea pig, I didn't know anything about guinea pigs. So I got peanut from Petco, I think. Um, or PetSmart, but I think it was Petco. And then um, I was reading a lot, reading a little bit about guinea pig, and they, I read that they have to be in pairs. So I went back to the PetSmart or Pet, uh, Petco um, only a week later to uh, get dumpling. I mean, sorry, get tofu. And then after a while, after six months, I found out that there are like rescue centers and guinea pig rescue centers out there so that's where I got dumpling so the lesson being if possible try to get um, adopt your guinea pig from rescue centers if possible I know I know there might not be rescue center or guinea pig rescue center near you if that's the case then of course you don't have a choice but if there are or if there is any guinea pig rescue center or rescue center then uh, definitely adopt Why are they best? Um, I don't know. I actually, I, I actually, before guinea pig, before peanut, I've only had um, dogs before and I've interacted with like dog and cats before. So um, I don't have too many comparison to go with, but um, essentially guinea pigs are very mild um, tempered, like maybe not peanut, but most of them are mild tempered, so uh, they can be super um, social, good for social interaction. And of course, like they're not as active as dogs and cats and whatnot with hum in regard to human interaction. But, you know, they're small, they're cute. And um, after a couple of years, like, of course, like they'll start trusting you after a couple of months. But after a couple of years, they'll trust you so much that... Um, you'll feel very proud. So like peanut, I wouldn't have imagined being able to do this, um, you know, first six months that I've had them. But, you know, you, you just start building that trust with the animal. And obviously, I think I think you guys can tell like how addictive they are because who starts company because they're a pet, right? <laughs> but I did. I mean, I, I started Guinea Dad because of them. So that's how, you know, um, valuable they are. I guess tofu is a little bit sleepy today. Oh yeah, that's right. Guineapigfinder.com is a is a good source too. To I think they um they list all the guinea pigs for adoptions. Oh by the way, oh welcome back, pretty peach. All right, so but no, we're just talking about adopting versus buying guinea pig. And I've been just telling people to um, adopt if possible. Yeah, so. 
peanut um I, i'm really glad to see like peanut just you know eating away because she's she's had an antibiotic this early this morning about um 5 30 a.m or so and this is a good sign so whenever you're getting giving antibiotic and they stop eating then call a vet and so on and so forth to make sure that you take care of it so it's a good sign Purring means a lot of different things. Oh yeah, purring does mean, can mean a lot of different things. So um, if Dumpling lets me, I don't think she will. <laughs> she doesn't want me to, <laughs> yeah. Um, so Dumpling, uh, when I first got her, uh, when I start, you know, petting her, then she will start purring. But that purring was not from like happiness, but she hated it. So she was telling me to stop. And then like after about a year, I had her. Um, and then she stopped purring because she didn't mind that much. So um, yeah, it can mean different things. But at least for dumpling, it meant that stop, essentially. And oh, pur that purring. So if your guinea pig is purring at another animal, like it's it might mean it, it might be the rumble strutting it's just like dominant stance and so forth oh thank you fried beef <laughs> thank you Uh, we're based in Las Vegas, so California should be pretty quick. Maybe, I think it's within two business days, two, three business days at the least. I mean, at the most, I mean. It shouldn't take long. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, guinea pigs definitely have positive influence on people's lives, I think. I mean, what possibly can they do that's negative, right? They're super cute. <laughs> Guinea pigs usually don't bite. Um, they might bite, like they might, I've seen, I've been bitten by a guinea pig once at the rescue just because this male guinea pig was super stressed out like during the adoption event. But um, other than that, like, you'll know when they seem super stressed, don't stick your finger on, on the, at their mouth, which I did. Oh, that kind of biting. Yeah, I mean they I mean they they'll get to know like what they'll they might bite you a couple times when they're young and then they'll know that start knowing that that's your finger. So they'll kind of like nibble a little bit to see if it's a veggie and then they won't bite you. <laughs> oh, the which countries do we send uh send it to? So um, for the liners, it's essentially available worldwide, like all the liners. Uh, but the hay, it's only available in the U.S. Hay, pea flake, and all the all the food, they're they're only available in the U.S. Um, same for this new product that's going to be released. The we we we're gonna call this Queen's Castle. You need that Queen's Castle. So Queen's Castle will only be available in the U.S. as well. No, I mean, we're, we're, it could be, yeah, sure. It could be King's Castle for boars, but 
we just made it Queen's Castle because, you know, guinea pigs has have long history with UK, and they have Queen's Castle there. So, plus it's a very medieval. See, we got the, you know the the thing here. This is like the medieval like arrow slit. You know when the enemies come. Like you stick your arrow out, like the bow and arrow, and then shoot out of here. So this is like the medieval, you know, it, the, I, I feel like Queen's Castle kind of fits in with the name. Um, how small are they when they're first born? Actually, I'm not sure if you have seen um, a lot of baby guinea pigs, but when they're first born, they're actually bigger than you think. It's, I, I would imagine like, you know, how they will be like this big or something, but they're actually like, they have, they have hair and stuff, I think. I haven't seen one personally, but I think I've seen one on the on the like internet with like um like wet uh baby guinea pig that just came out I mean... <laughs> So uh, if you have a lot of trouble uh, washing the water bottle, I would just um, I, I would recommend to get those like Q-tips. Just just stick it in, and then like kind of you have to like kind of go in circle to make sure it's rubbing against the like um, inner wall, and then um, you'll see like some gunk come out. Yeah, it's 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 good that you're cleaning your cage once in a while. Um, every, every some people forget it. I sometimes see picture with cage with a lot of like urine stains and whatnot. But you know, <clears throat> it's best if you clean it. I it, it depends. It depends where those uh Craigslist guinea pigs are coming from, right? If they're the breathers, probably not. But if they are pe someone who's trying to surrender them, um, then sure, maybe. Guinea pigs, so, okay. So this, I found this out like some time ago, but guinea pigs, they don't actually like dig in the wild, so. I mean, not guinea pigs, but cavies, who's uh, very similar. So in order to sleep, they don't dig their own house, but they essentially steal someone else's house. Like if there is an animal house that has been already made, a dug up, and then if they abandon it, and then they go in and they live there. What's... Dumpling? What are you doing? So, um, oh, by the way, everyone, so, um, so next week it's, I mean, we're not going to change the usual live schedule. It's still, it's probably going to be on Monday, 12 p.m. PST as usual, but this week I just, I, I was just away in, at, uh, and I was in Los Angeles for Monday and Tuesday. So that's why I did, I'm doing the live today on Wednesday. But normally we'll just do it on Monday. 
Um, have you guys been? I'm not sure. I don't think I forgot. But this this week too, we're gonna do stuff that we do every day, every time. But um, actually, let's do, let's let's change it up a bit. I'm not sure. Have you guys ever seen Guinea that uh, phone ring? We we uh kind of stopped selling it. I don't know why. I think when we moved, we just kind of forgot to list it again. But um, we have this phone ring that has like you need that logo on it. And then you can stick it to the back of the phone. So you can kind of. So even if you let go of your phone, you wouldn't fall. Something like that. Have you guys seen it? Has, has any of you seen it? Oh, welcome Dixie. Welcome to the first live. Oh, it's a retro item. <laughs> I mean, if you guys followed us um, like some time ago, then you 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 guys will know. It's a it's a phone ring. So um, this week, instead of giving out that golden guinea that badge, I think um, let's let's try to pick people who will win the guinea that phone ring. So um, if you guys type Guinea that phone ring for next uh, couple minutes, then we'll pick a winner out of the people who type Guinea that phone ring and then announce the winner. Did we ever find a new editor? No, not really. We're 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 not actively looking at this point because um I don't know. Yeah, no no reason really. Um I I think we should look for a, an editor, but it's just too much work to do. Some we, we have um, a lot of the Thanksgiving holiday stuff going on, like promotion and all that stuff. And we'll probably have something like that, like less of a discount than Black Friday, but probably some event on Christmas. So I think we'll be busy until end of the year and maybe we'll uh, focus more on YouTube in 2021. By the way, for all those of you, all of you who just joined, um, you guys can type "Guinea that phone ring" here, and then we'll choose one out of you to give you free phone ring. Oh yeah, like Tofu's Tofu's hair is definitely slightly longer than others. I think she's a mix between American and Peruvian. Look at the butt hair. So long. Only her butt hair is like like this. It means that you've entered a giveaway, phone ring giveaway. If you type you need that phone ring. We'll choose a winner, we'll announce announce the winner and then you can contact us and then we'll send it to you for free yeah peruvians generally have longer hair essentially everywhere but i think yeah, i think she's a mix like kind of um maybe one quarter peruvian maybe one half Once you win, um, we'll let you guys know the direction. We'll let you know the direction, how to contact us. Okay, uh, well, uh, thanks everyone for joining today. Uh, we, we, will, we, will, we will do the live next week on Monday, 12 p.m. PST as usual. Not on Wednesday like today, just this week. It was just one off week. Um, so, uh, see you guys next Monday.
Bye everyone. Bye bye. Tofu says bye too. Bye.